Hey, this is Clayton Olson coming to you from Boulder, Colorado, and I have a just spectacular view up here, and I wanted to share it with you guys. Um, the reason I'm making this video is because I've been thinking about some of the clients that I've been working with who have been going through excruciating breakups, and you know, there's a handful of people that remain stuck in the misery of the breakup, and they're asking questions like, why me? Why did this happen? If only I could go back. Um, I wish I could have done something differently. And then there's another set of clients that actually are able to use this breakup as fuel to truly transform not only their relationship moving forward, but really their lives and their character and how they show up in the world. You know, I'm wondering, why is it that one set of people can have something devastating happen to them and they are they end up being completely stuck and it's something that uh, the event causes them to be bitter it causes them to um, feel sorry for themselves to feel hopeless and possibly for them to carry baggage moving forward into their next relationships and why is it that in another group it can be the actual fuel or the catalyst for real permanent change to happen in their lives you know, what's the difference there? What's actually going on? Is it, does it happen by accident or is there something intentional about it? And I'm a firm believer that what's actually happening is that the people that are able to move through this experience and further find who they are and uh, find their own personal power and uh, move forward in a way where they are proud of who they are and they're able to release some of the negative patterns and the BS that may be holding them back has to do with the story that they wrap around the situation. And that story is one of whether they accept the breakup or whether they are resisting it and fighting it and not accepting it. See, if you're not accepting the breakup, then you are resisting reality. And when you are resisting reality, you're, you're running from something. And the breakup is, turns into this weight that is on you. And you're trying to push it off, trying to push it off to, to be able to breathe, trying to push it off and able to, to get perspective. And instead, you're weighed down by these questions of why me? And uh, if only I could have done something different. Um, and you know, is there gonna be another chance for me? And all of those questions presuppose that what's happening right now is so terrible, it's so bad. Uh, that you just want it to change, just want it to shift. And see, the key to actually shifting it, the key to actually getting out of this cycle and being able to move forward in a way where you become a transformed person and a, and a better person as a result of the breakup is to truly accept the breakup and get in line with it. And what that means is it's not an act. It's not something where you are getting in line with it and you're telling everybody that, but secretly you hate it. It's actually befriending the breakup. Meaning that rather than asking questions like, oh my God, can this get any worse? You're asking questions like, okay, what is here now that wasn't before that's good? What am I learning from this breakup? If this breakup was a gift, and this relationship coming to an end and this conflict in my relationship was actually a gift and something that my highest self needs, I wonder what that would be. How can this breakup serve me moving forward? How could this be the moment in my life that I've actually been waiting for, but maybe too, too afraid to look at or too afraid to embrace? And see, when you start asking those questions, your brain will begin to look for the responses to those questions. And the answers to those questions are what is actually going to move you forward. And it's gonna allow you to have compassion for yourself. It's gonna allow you to come to the table with a sense of gratitude for what is actually happening right now. And it's gonna give you access to truly being present truly being present with what's happening right now. And that is with yourself and also with your partner. If what you're wanting is to go back in and have a conversation with them, 
and see if there is a way to reconcile and start over. And all of those things, compassion, gratitude, and acceptance are key ingredients and an absolutely mandatory stance that you must come from if you want to change the downward cycle that you may have felt like you're in and be able to move in a direction that is different and begin to get a different result. So if you're looking for more information, if uh, you are looking for personal coaching, uh, feel free to click the link below this video, subscribe to the channel. Uh, I'm gonna be putting more and more videos out uh, just like this for inspiration and different ways to see relationships and to see your breakup in a way that will empower you to become the best you and create relationships that truly last moving forward. Thanks.